All right, Roman Bardé, rumours that he's potentially moving to somewhere. I just want to commentate on his last year, the Mont Blanc 2 Challenge. So you saw the climb there. It's called the Mont Blanc 2 Denis Vele. has 4,000 metres of climbing. Now, this was the Sunday, uh, no, the Monday after um, the Dauphiné. So Bardet does have some excuse, but his team is driving it. He's the strongest climber. You know, he's came second at the Tour de France. But my point of this climb is not to, I know, this video, sorry, is not to, you know, abuse Roman Bardet or whatever, but just maybe potentially show why he should leave. Uh, AG to our. I think obviously his time trial is terrible. He lost about two minutes to Chris Room in the Tour de France time trial in 2017, had a decent hill in it, and it was only about 20 kilometers long. So obviously his time trial is very poor, and I think somewhere could help him significantly with that. Um, I also think tactically he's very good on the one day races, and maybe he should stick more to that. But obviously, when he's at a French Tour de Fr a French team, they want him to win the tour. So maybe, you know, make more sense to do what Bargui did, where he just went for stages. And not go for the GC. I mean, he still finished top ten. Obviously, this year, Bardet in 2019, well, 2019, last Tour de France, he had a shocker, um, got dropped before the Tourmalet on that stage, and then um, you know we won the KOM competition, but he wasn't in top condition. But he's got his team driving it at the moment. So obviously, like he's not he's not fresh compared to all these other guys, and he attacks. So you know he's still super super strong, but. <laughs> And, you know, their, their time up here was, was was very quick. It wasn't, I can't remember the exact time, but I remember it being, you know, rain time on May, did about 360 watts for an hour, and well over an hour. And he did, weighs not much, but over 60 kilos, um, maybe 65. So it was pretty strong, solid watts per kilo. It's a hot day. Bardet's got his got his jersey undone, but Jesus Harada just mugs him here. And I just think this is sort of symptomatic of Bardet sometimes in his GC travails like he's really really strong obviously he's a ridiculously good climber but in the GC he just hasn't had that like he, you know he's come second in the tour so you know you can't mug him off but like is he ever going to win the tour and you just look at him you're just like no because as soon as there's a time trial kilometer he's just going to lose and recently he's just been getting worse and worse but the one day races he's been getting better and better obviously he finished third in the world championships behind Valverde and Mike Woods so we skip ahead to 2k to go, but here's his first attack. Then, um, and like they've been swapping turns ish, but he'd been doing a bit more work. And Harada just not even like trying, but Bardet didn't get it and he just keeps going for it. Maybe he knows he's another punch. I always thought he was quite punchy, but he just doesn't really seem to. I guess he's really tired, but Bardet does just get binned by Harada on this. Um, but going back to like the tour, like you just never really think he's gonna win it. But one day races, I think, is where he's really good. Like, obviously, he's come what second in Strada Bianca third in the world championships um i think he's done well in liege i think he came second when bob Youngles won it don't quote me on that but i'm pretty sure he did um or at least you know top five so i think maybe that's really where he's got to focus on maybe you know fugel sang and him in some ways similar both good stage races but one day is potentially where they're more suited i don't know but I think Bardet, it would be very interesting if he left the French team. I always thought he should go to Ineos. I thought it would be very interesting if he went there. Um, they could try and turn him into a pure GC boy. But if I were him, I'd really want to go to Quick Step and focus on the classics and really do the one-day races well. Obviously, I've got Alaphilippe, so it's not ideal. But, you know, like, so maybe maybe Quick Step was a stupid example. I mean, it was a stupid example. But, you know, someone who really is a classic squad and that he could really go and learn how to do the classics because I think that's really where he could perform um obviously gets beaten a one-day race but this this was after a stage race uh this is the memorial to tony simpson who unfortunately died on this mountain um world famous british lad won the world championships back in the day um but he's just getting mugged here like what's he doing because you know obviously harada is super strong but barde just seems to just like be playing into his favor i'm just going for these random attacks just to tire him out but it's like mate he's got it on you like what is that like is that an attack is that just like a like you i feel like he must know that harada is probably going to be strong then so then you're like well i'm just going to sit on him and then maybe do one really hard attack at the end i mean obviously you're sort of screwed if you know the guy's stronger but doing these mini attacks is just gonna like lessen your chance even more of winning um which doesn't really make any sense um here's a really beautiful race this um it's a shame that they didn't um it didn't happen this year i don't think it's been rearranged um but, you know, it is it is what it is. It could be rearranged. I'm not 100% sure. Um, these French races, I'm not sure the French calendar. Well, I think the French calendar has been announced, but I haven't seen it. Anyone saying they're going to do it. I know the Tour de Lain is going to be pretty popular these days um, for the Tour. Um, but the speed they're going up this climb is just ridiculous. They went like 
20k an hour at this climb, I think. No, 18k an hour, but like a 9% climb for like an hour and something. And you're like, that is mental. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Um, and I, you know, I, I feel sorry for Bardet because I think, you know, if if he could nail his time trial, and you know, he he could definitely win a Giro for sure, maybe a Vuelta as well. The tour is always going to be hard because I think it the climbs aren't as steep and it always suits someone. And because the teams are there, it just suits someone who's more of a pure GC specialist and a climber turned GC specialist. But Bardet is a good weight. He's he's not like a 60 kilo climber, like he is slightly heavier. So you think the time trial would suit him a bit more. He's long and lanky. He's not short and sort of um, stocky, like which obviously doesn't help time trials. Um, so you'd expect him to be good at time trial, but I just don't think he likes the time trial very much. He never says he does it. But, I mean, I think if he went to Sunweb, it would be very interesting. Like, they're apparently very strict on their regimes and, like, you know, a lot less freedom, which maybe would be good for him. Maybe he'd, he'd, um, he'd thrive a bit more on just being told, right, you're doing four hours on the TT bike today with, like, three 20-minute efforts behind the moto. Um, that's that's life. Um, I don't know. Maybe he would, maybe he wouldn't. But I think it would be... It'd be good for him, good for French cycling, I think. Obviously, they've got Pierre Latour, who's pretty strong. And, um, uh, who's that? The big boy um, who's won the under-23 under World Championships. Um, I even made a video of the man. I've forgotten his name. Um, but he's he's a world-class lad as well. They've got some decent riders, I think. And pierre Emily Pont, who um, I think had good results in the Tour de Provence. But here we go, 400 metres to go. And Harada says, cheerio, lad. And Bardet is just like... Yeah, I mean, mentally, he's gone there. As soon as that gap opens, you know you're not coming back, and it's just different speeds. Obviously, Harada's fresh. Like, that is very true. But Bardet just getting bin like this on Von 2 is symptomatic of his career in Asia to all, where he's achieved a ridiculous amount. But maybe if he was on a better team, he could have achieved more. I mean, Asia to on a weak team, but maybe, like, more concentration on a good on a good time trial bike and everything like that um, could help him. I don't know, but... Anyway, Harada wins this stage easily. What do you think? Should Bardet go to Sunweb? I think definitely. Bit of a new pasture, see what's happening. And um, yeah, I can't wait till live cycling. First um, race back is going to be the Slovenian National Championships. Pogaccia versus Primoz, so that's going to be a good one. But anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy. Bardet's limping home. Hopefully he can uh, go to Sunweb and uh, win a Grand Tour soon. But he won't have to focus on the Tour. Win a Giro. Will be class. Six hours in the saddle. Uh, it's a solid day out. Anyway, cheers for watching. See you in the next one.